All right, we are working on this Williamson gas-fired boiler. No power. I know the power switch is off, but no activity on the uh, boiler control. We have 20, sorry, we have 110 volts going to the transformer. We tested it here and we tested it there, but I don't have 24 volts leaving the transformer feeding the control over 24 volts. So we're gonna swap this out. I'm putting one, in, when, putting one in with an automatic reset, sorry, a manual reset circuit breaker so we could test for shorts. I'm gonna bet that's the low water cutoff because as you can see, even starting to separate a little bit there. So we'll see what happens. So now we have power to the control board, new transformer in place. It has a circuit breaker reset. It was down there. I just took it away from the fire chamber. However, my low water cutoff, I left disconnected, <laughs> which means something is just bypassed here. So we'll figure that out. Why is it bypassed? So my low water cutoff is unplugged and I removed the electric wire tape right there and they have the limit bypassed right there, the two yellow wires. So if I were to take that off, now we kill the boiler. Interesting. All right. Back on this Williamson GWA 140 N-T. This is 140,000 BTU electronic ignition system. Now, recap summary. We had a 24 volt transformer that took 110 volts from the boiler control. It was supposed to make 24 volts. It no longer was making 24 volts because this low water cutoff killed it so we have the new guard dog low water cutoff in place new wiring harness going to here our yellow wires is our safety limit red and white is our R in common our 24 volts in common and we're finishing up the service call with a combustion and draft analysis I'm sure this is an 82 82.5 percent efficient boiler and we're at 82.6 we're basically right on the money with this thing but uh there you have it now last year let's talk about you know the safety being bypassed last year customer had no heat call somebody else they come they replace the transformer all right still same result so they on for whatever reason replace the gas valve but as you saw in the previous uh, part of this video, they had bypassed the two yellow wires and put some electric tape on it so no one would know the difference. Also keeping the light on the existing low water cutoff because the customer was standing right there watching them like same way he was watching me, but he just went to the bank to get cash to pay me. <laughs> um, but this goes to say, don't pay twice, pay once. Yes, we may be a little bit more expensive than other reputable licensed HVAC contractors, but uh, we get the job done right the first time. Uh, this job is in Rosedale, New York, if you, which is literally five minutes from our office in Valley Stream. If you're in our service territory and you need prompt professional heating and air conditioning service, look no, fo look no more than to call us. We finish each job with this Testo 320LX combustion analyzer, proving that the system is operating safely and within specifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy New Year.